Do weighted hula hoops actually work for exercise? Can you get a nice workout using one of these? Well, let's find out. In this video, I'm gonna do a test and work out with a smart weighted hula hoop and a regular weighted hula hoop, along with comparing the two together to see which one is better. But I'm also going to use a Fitbit to track the results. And if you're not familiar with a Fitbit, with the Fitbit that I have, I'm able to track my exercise, including my heart rate and how many calories I burned. Here's the rules to the test. I'm going to do a 10 minute workout using both of these. And what I'm gonna do first is warm up and then I'm going to spin in each direction for five minutes for a total of 10 minutes. The first hoop I'm gonna start with is this smart hula hoop right here. But before I begin, I'm going to do my warm up first. So I don't bore everybody with my warm up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward through this part. I'm all done warming up. I'm gonna put this smart hula hoop on and now I am ready to go. So I'm gonna get my Fitbit ready here. Now that my Fitbit is ready, let's go ahead and get started. Woo, okay, time to, time to change directions, here we go. Okay, there it is. I just crossed the 10 minute mark and let's go ahead and check the results. There's my results right there. I must say those results are pretty wild. 137 BPM average, 86 calories in about 10 minutes. Wow. If you are interested in getting a smart hoop similar to this one right here, or just a smart hula hoop that I recommend, I did put my affiliate links to do so in the description of this video. Now it's time to see how well this weighted hula hoop right here performs in a workout when compared to this smart hula hoop. And just so you know, the weight of this hoop right here rounds up to be about two pounds. Before I do this test, I'm going to warm up first. I'm now all warmed up. Now I just need to get my Fitbit set up. Now it's time to start the workout. So here I go. Okay, time to change directions. Oh, okay, I am all done with the 10 minute workout. Now it's time to check out the results. Here's my results to the weighted hoop workout. As you can see, I was able to get my heart rate up a little bit and I was able to burn some calories. But if I compare these results to the smart hula hoop workout results, just look at the difference here. With the smart hoop, I was able to burn more calories. I was able to get my heart rate up more. So according to these results, it looks like the smart hula hoop offered a better workout. Is it possible that my fit Fitbit didn't track the results accurately. Yes, that is a possibility. There was a time recently when my Fitbit didn't track my heart rate correctly. So I went ahead and turned it off and then turned it back on. And after doing that, the heart rate tracker seemed to register a reasonable reading again. So just in case if there is any inaccuracies, here's my Fitbit results doing a 10 minute workout using a different smart hula hoop, this pink smart hula hoop right here. As you can see from the numbers, this pink hoop gave me quite a workout. When compared to the previous workout I did, using the black and white smart hoop, the results are relatively close in comparison. If you're interested in checking out other people's results using a smart hula hoop, I do recommend that you go and join the smart hula hoop group on Facebook. In that group, quite a few people have posted their results, including before and after pictures. Some have shared how much weight they lost, along with sharing other experiences and results using smart hula hoops. And let me just say this, some of the transformations that people have shared in that group are pretty impressive. There's thousands of people that are members in that group. So I definitely recommend going and checking out a link is in the description for that group, along with the recommended hoops if you're interested in getting a weighted hula hoop. And I also put links to fitness trackers, including Fitbits in the description as well. Now that you have made it this far in this video, what is your opinion about weighted hula hoops? Would you rather use a weighted hula hoop like this, or would you rather use a smart hula hoop? Please hop down to the comment section and let me know your opinion. Now, if you wanna see a more in-depth comparison between a smart hula hoop and a weighted hula hoop, I recommend watching the video that is appearing on the screen right now. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you everybody for watching. Until next time, enjoy.